good morning children welcome back to our session children in the last session we tried to understand about uh, the rise of fascism and nazis so under that we tried to see how the world was uh, after the world war and uh, in the pre second world war region so during this period the world has experienced great depression where the entire economy of the world got collapsed and we also have learned how the unquestioned power of hitler came to power in germany and uh, some of his uh, colleagues in other countries like uh, benito mussolini in uh, italy and militarism in japan got developed so these all were the fascist ideologies which got developed after the first world war in these countries in order to make those countries more united keeping the circumstances in mind and today we shall learn about uh, much regarding the uh, hitler as well as the causes for the second world war so coming to the hitler children even though we discussed that he established uh, some secret organizations like gestapo and uh, he his rule was autocratic rule and he also imposed much restrictions on uh, the movement of the people he brought under his control uh, media economy judiciary and all the military army these all four things were kept in his control it was uh, because of uh, an enabling act enabling act was passed in the german parliament on march 3rd 1933 which made uh, hitler the dictator of the country and it uh, it is a act which has completely abolished the democratic uh, institutions and hitler also has committed uh, many kinds of uh, atrocities uh, against the minority groups as i shared with you in our previous session nearly 6 crore jews were uh, uh, killed by him and even many of the gypsies polish civilians and own germans were also killed by hitler and there were gas chambers at places like auschwitz where he killed a group of people at a time a group were put in a room and a poisonous gas was released into that chambers and with the suffocating and inhaling this poisonous gas people used to die this is how hitler tried to show and build germany to the outside country now today we shall learn about what are the causes for the second world war as i told you in the previous session also that the causes of first world war and second world war are common like the militarism uh, imperialism and even the aggressive nationalism the balkan politics uh, these are common but apart from that there are also other reasons for the outbreak of the second world war let us see them in detail the problems like a uh, treaty of versailles so treaty of versailles is one of the reason for the outbreak of the uh, second world war the failure of league of nations the institution which got established after the first world war as of uh, a treaty of versailles agreement this institution got developed in order to see that no wars break out after and third reason is uh, there was a fear of uh, socialism and communism among the countries and germans uh, revenge germany wanted to take a revenge after the first world war and there are certain immediate causes for the outbreak of the second world war so these reasons let us discuss them in detail today so coming to the treaty of versailles children you know it very well after the end of the first world war there was a peace agreement between the victorious powers so these all victorious powers have met at a palace in versailles which we famously call it as a, a palace of versailles and they have signed an agreement and this uh, treaty is called as a treaty of uh, versailles this is one of the major uh, reason for the outbreak of the war as it is uh, uh, held in 1919 immediately after the war and 32 delegates from the nations 32 delegates from the nations have participated in this war and you know uh, the powerful countries the five powerful countries like uh, uh, uk and uh, even from the uh, france italy and japan from these countries the delegates have participated but there was no invitation to uh, defeated powers like germany and turkey and ussr there was no invitation to them they were not invited to this uh, treaty but unanimously they uh, themselves have taken the decision to punish the uh, german why to punish the german because they thought that germany is the reason for the outbreak of the world war so they wanted to cripple it they wanted to weaken germany so in order to 
cripple it what they have done is they have imposed some monetary sanction uh, sanctions restrictions on them military sanctions on them and territorial uh, sanctions on them the first one is the territorial uh, sanctions which were imposed on them they have to hand over germany has to hand over all its african colonies to the victorious powers which they have got it in 1880 so all the african uh, colonies were taken over from the german second the european uh, places like uh, alsac and lorraine which they have won from uh, france in 1871 should be given it back these are the two important territorial arrangements and next are the military arrangements the army strength of 9 lakh during the world war one has to be reduced to 1 lakh and they should not uh, maintain any kind of uh, submarines they should possess only six battleships uh, not exceeding the way of weight of uh, 10,000 tons and they should not have uh, more than a dozen torpedo missiles uh, and destroyers or destroyer carriers only a dozen they should possess and third is the uh, monetary sanctions they have to pay a huge war indemnity these all were mentioned under the treaty of versailles where germany was not invited but these all were imposed on germany the germany allies even austria was also not invited to it austria turkey and germany were not invited but remaining powers have decided on this now the second is the failure of the nations league of nations failure of league of nations so why the league of nations got failed first i would uh, tell you how this league of nations got uh, its birth so as a result of the treaty of versailles they decided not to recur such kind of world wars again so they thought of establishing a international organization called as the league of nations this league of nations duty is to see that the war doesn't take place and they should be brought onto the table and with negotiations and with uh, in a peace environment they should solve the international disputes that was the main intention of the league of nations so uh, even even germany and russia were not given the membership of the league of nations and usa usa itself was not a member of the league of nations even though woodrow wilson the president of us was an active member in the formation of league of nations but the us senate did not give nod to the proposal of woodrow wilson and usa could not become the member of the league of nations as a result of this only 58 member countries were present in the league of nations and most of the nations thought that with the collective security they can deter or uh, they can threat the other countries with the collective security but as you all know that germany was not a member of it okay and even russia was not also was also not a member of it so excluding these uh, powerful countries from the league of nations uh, made it a failed organization and germany started attacking uh, poland it started attacking poland uh, without the consent of the league of uh, nations so even the fascist countries uh, uh, one or the other way are connected to each other okay italy japan uh, germany these all uh, countries are fascist ideologies they started supporting each other because they share a common agenda a common uh, uh, ideology as a result of this uh, they started waging wars on the neighboring countries and uh, conquering them so that uh, got united and league of nations uh, was not working uh, to effective and you know one of the most important event under the league of nations is it also established a, uh, a institution called as international court of justice so this is an international court where the international issues can be arbitrarily solved or legally can be solved even that organization was also institution was also established under the league of nations but even though league of nations uh, started working in 1920 but it could not stop the world war ii which uh, outbroke in 1939 the third reason is the fear of socialism as you all know that children in 1917 uh, russia has undergone a internal revolution due to which it has to withdraw from the world war one so after that uh, internal war russia started building its uh, economy on the lines of uh, ideology called as uh, communism or socialism bolshevik party leader lenin had established a communist ideology party that is a bolshevik party and they started building the russia on the lines of communism so other countries like britain france were fearful that the same kind of revolution may occur in their countries also and they wanted to encourage nazi party leader hitler to wage war on russia 
so they wanted support of uh, uh, hitler in order to put a check for the spread of socialism in europe so the policy followed by them to appease uh, uh, hitler was appeasement policy appeasement policy and which was also a threat for even britain and france also later we will learn how hitler has become threat even for the britain and france who appeased him against to the russia so russian revolution was very successful and workmen uh, were uh, treated with great respect uh, in russia so equality a society based on equality got established in russia where the feudal lords were completely abolished and uh, the person who tilled the land has become the owner of the land in russia so that fear made them to support the uh, nazi parties and to make him against to the russia next is a germans revenge you know it very well children german germany was cut into slices by these uh, victorious powers okay without the consent of uh, germans they have cut the territory of the german as you all know that they established a polish corridor from the center of the germany they have taken away alsac and loren militarily they were cut so with all these things there was a powerful passion for words uh, and the leaders like uh, hitler has come to power there and they started promising them to undo the injustices uh, done by the treaty of uh, versailles and they felt most of the germans felt that the sanctions imposed on them were very slavish it's like slavery so germans were waiting to take a revenge and bring back all their territories in order to unite their nation once again so there was a strong feeling to take a revenge that world has treated them undue and that was also a reason and next one is a immediate cause germans in order to bring back the territory which was established after the first world war under the treaty of uh, versailles a polish corridor germany was divided into two and a polish corridor was established uh, in order to give poland uh, the port of danzig it's called as the port of danzig it's one of the most important port in germany so this port of danzig was given to poland so they established a polish corridor a polish corridor so it was in september of 1939 september 1st 1939 that hitler declared war on poland hitler has declared war on poland so german army entered into poland but immediately when poland was attacked by germany and where hitler thought that it would be a small military operation britain rushed to the rescue of uh, poland because already they had a secret alliance with uh, poland so britain joined the poland so when britain joined the poland immediately the next day even france also joined the war so as a result of that the second world war broke out in 1939 the immediate reason was the germans attack over the poland and even if you look at uh, most of the fascist countries ideology is to support each other and that has led to a uh, war second world war between the axis powers led by the germany Fra uh, germany J italy and japan and the allied powers uh, led by britain france and uh, uh, other countries but you know children initially german led allied powers uh, were at uh, dominant initial initial with this power an ally of uh, germany japan attacked uh, peril harbor which was stationed in pacific ocean the peril harbor was attacked by japan as a result of that usa entered into the war and germany with over confidence attacked russia as a result of that ussr entered into the war these two powers were not present in the second world war because of these uh, allied powers uh, over domination those entered into the war and war has become one sided what are the consequences of the war and what was the course of the war we shall see in the next uh, class children so please remember to write down the causes for the world war 2 that is the treaty of versailles failure of league of nations fear of socialism and communism the germany's uh, revenge and the immediate cause for the second world war thank you children